today i will explain closed loop control system a simple study simulator and it's working with the use of multimeter and cro this is a normal closed loop control system this is reference input this is pi controller this is power circuit this is output this is feedback block this output used for feedback now under study condition this and this will be equal output will be equal to reference when this and this is equal error will be zero so output will not change pi controller quality is such that when error is zero it will not change if error is positive it will increase when error is negative it will decrease but when error is zero it will not be zero it will retain old value for example suppose this output is 5 volt and this is zero it will remain 5 volt it will not change when error becomes positive this 5 will start increasing when error becomes negative this 5 will start decreasing and when it comes zero it will remain in a steady condition here i have shown three wave shapes this point is shown here this error signal point is shown here and output is shown here now in the beginning suppose this point is 1 volt and output also is 1 volt so this also 1 volt this also 1 volt error is zero error is zero at this point now suppose here we increase this 1 volt to 4 volt as soon as we make 1 to 4 a 3 volt error will come here because this was 1 volt this is now 4 volt so 3 volt error will come because of plus 3 volt this output will start increasing this output will start increasing this is increasing and as soon as it will increase difference will reduce so error will start reducing after some time say at this point this point voltage and this point voltage will be equal 4 volt when both becomes 4 volt this also 4 this also 4 then error will become zero so here output will increase error will reduce at this point this will become equal to this error become zero now here suppose i reduce the voltage again so this was 4 volt here again has become 1 volt so negative error will come this minus this minus 3 volt will come because of minus error this will start decreasing this will start decreasing until this voltage becomes equal to this voltage when both are equal error becomes zero when error becomes zero output will not change and this system will be stable now this is setup i have connected three multimeter one multimeter is connected at input another one this one is connected at this point which is error signal and this multimeter is connected at output this both should be equal you see both are equal and error is zero now if i increase this output error will come because this voltage and this voltage will not be equal if i increase this error will come and this output will start increasing and then error will start reducing so i will increase the voltage here see voltage had increased now suddenly error came and output voltage is increasing and this is reducing now both has become approximately equal so this error also is coming zero very small difference you are seeing 0.03 volt because multimeter will have some accuracy problem there will be component tolerance now what i will do i will reduce this value again this is 5.5 volt this is 5.5 volt 
this also 5.5 if i reduce to 2 minus voltage will come here here you will see minus because of minus this will start reducing see this is showing minus 2 volt 1 volt because of minus this is coming down this output is slowly reducing it is coming down error also coming down this also coming down now this voltage roughly became equal to this very small error is there because of component tolerance this also 2 volt this also 2 volt error is 0 now again i will show i will increase this voltage if i increase this voltage error will come because of error this voltage will start increasing until both becomes equal see here error came plus because of error voltage is increasing this output is increasing this error is reducing because of feedback control is working and now you see this voltage has become approximately to this voltage this and this has become equal the error has become zero pi controller is steady pi controller output is steady this is set up to check the stability of the system this is input this is connected here red color channel 1 here I have connected one function generator square wave of 3 hertz and this output is connected here now this output wave shape here rise time depends upon time constant of this I will vary the time constant of this using this part see what happens Now at present time constant is maximum, so it is going slow. Now I will make it faster. Faster means I will reduce RC value. I am reducing slowly. See, as soon as I am making faster, overshoot is coming. Many cases overshoot will not be acceptable. Now I will increase the time constant again. According to me, this is the best combination where there should be little overshoot, less than 10%. Now what I will do, instead of this, I will change the response time of this. I have another part. See what happens. See, very odd wave shape is coming. So output with respect to this depends upon response time of this also, response time of this also. Now in this case, power circuit case, we have little control, but PI we have, we can set any value we want. So we have to tune this. We can make it time constant more, slow or fast. And best is, best arrangement is this. Little lower shoot should come. This way you can change many parameter here and see the stability of the system. Now I will explain circuit diagram of simulator step by step. This reference point is this. Reference is generated using the circuit. This block is this block. It has this plus, this minus terminal and this is this error. This block is this PI controller. And this block is power circuit. And then we have the feedback circuit. This circuit is used when I was using multimeter. For seeing transient time using CRO, I made two changes. One is the reference was connected with a function generator. 
And second, this capstar, which is electrolytic, 200 micro plus Er minus Er, is changed to one microfarad capstar. This potentiometer was used to control the time of this PI. This potentiometer was used to control the response of power circuit. I have used two LM324. Each IC has four operation amplifiers, so total eight. But here one, two, three, four, five, six, seven I have used. So one will be spare. This is spare. For that plus terminal, we will ground. In this, here you see I have used two negative inverting operation amplifiers. So total gain is plus. Here also I have used two. So PIE total gain is plus. Here also I have used plus input. Here also I have used plus input. Here also plus input. So individually here, here two block, third block, four block, five block. Everywhere gain is plus. Only here it is minus. Because I have connected here. Here you see power circuit I have simulated using operation amplifier not through power circuit. This is because when we do simulation study for control, we are interested in response time of power circuit. So this is simulation of response time of power circuit to check the stability. You can see simulator from close. Power supply is given using these two batteries 9 volt. At present battery connection is not there. There are two ICs are used and three potentiometer. This is to control the DC input voltage when we give DC input to the simulator. This is for controlling time of PI and this is for controlling the response time of the model of power circuit. Please try the simulator circuit to improve your knowledge about control system concept. Today we will close here itself.